Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be telling you ways you can grow your Twitter profile for selling your feed content. Because obviously when you're selling feed content, you kind of want to have a lot of Twitter followers because that does get you a lot more money, like just in general, as well as having a lot of followers on Instagram or on Snapchat. Instagram, be careful though, a lot of the time you will get your account taken down for it. But yeah, so here is how I grow my Twitter account as well as how I get more engagement on my Twitter and everything like that. So first thing first, when first things first, I can't even speak today. First things first is that when you're posting, you kind of want to analyze what people like. So if you post a certain photo and everyone likes that, like you get a thousand likes, like that does really, really well. You get a hundred likes. Keep that in your mind. Rinse the crap out of it. Post that photo, like not that photo, but like the same type of photo multiple times rinse it pretty much because you know if they like it one day they're gonna like you doing the same thing tomorrow in like obviously it's not the same photo but it's basically the same photo but it's not so that's like the good thing about it you're not just reposting it i swear my hair like just i don't even know but yeah rinse that photo rinse that style of photo until that no longer gets you any likes right because that will grow your account because obviously if it's doing well that means lots of people are liking that type of photo that day so yeah rinse it um i always recommend posting at least once a day on twitter i can't even live up to that sometimes but once a day on twitter i do recommend that um just because consistency really really does matter consistency matters with everything if you're posting at least once a day today different people are going to see it as tomorrow when you post it vice versa it's just going to constantly change and if you're posting only once like 15 times one day but not for the rest of the month then you're not going to get any like you're going to get only the same people on the same day you're not going to grow your account really um so yeah you want to be posting once a day at least it's entirely up to you whether you do use hashtags or not um i personally don't i mainly work on trying to get people to re tweet my post and a lot of people do ask me like how do you get people to retweet your post well like what i do is i basically just try to post stuff that people might retweet like that people want to retweet because they like it so much so if you see like a lot of retweets on a previous post you've done then do it again because a lot of people really retweet again another type of post that does do really really well is gym photos if you're in the gym with your feet out on like a weight plate people love it and i don't know why i can't be bothered to do it half of the time but yeah people love those type of photos so if you have got any weights or anything like that take photos like that and put like gym feet as your caption people like it when it comes to growing your account though you're going to kind of want to follow people that are bigger versions of what you want to be so the people that have got the followers the people that are dominating your market you know you want to kind of like look at their accounts and analyze who is commenting who is engaging with their posts everything you know because the people who are commenting on these people's posts are clearly very engaging with like that person and if you're doing the exact same as them is a high chance that they're going to like your feet as well because Feet is feet, right? There are going to be people who are loyal to, like, their goddess, but majority of people really ain't. No matter how much they tell you they're loyal, they're really not. Like, they'll tell you they're loyal to you and you look and they're reposting, like, everyone else's woes as well. So just keep that in mind. So many people just aren't loyal. But, yeah, so follow people that engage with other goddesses post pretty much as well as like mainly the commenters on the retweeters, like those ones, not really the likes. I think everyone just scrolls and likes, but the commenters and the retweeters, 100% those people engage with them follow them like their comment repost their comment engage with what they're saying just make sure you follow them definitely be careful though because if you follow like a hundred people i'm pretty sure you can get yourself like blocked out your account and then you gotta unlock it pretty much but yeah that's like one thing just follow them and engage with them post daily post different things try out different like genres you know try out like findom captions try out like flirting captions try out humiliation captions try out like degrading captions try different captions try different poses gym ones mirror photos different pedicures different you know like different photos you know like muddy feet dirty feet clean feet different ones i don't do muddy feet because like who do, who wants to get their feet muddy but people do so if you're comfortable with it then sure i'm not because like no unless someone pays me to do it but sure but like no but yeah, that's my ways of growing your Twitter profile. It doesn't really matter if you're selling feed content, you can be doing other things. This is still going to help you grow your account just because like doing these simple things will help you grow your account.
but yeah thank you so much for watching Ugh, i can never say this it's like a loss here. thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe comment down below any other types of videos you'd like me to make and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one